Got her. That time I got her. That time I got her. <laughs> finally. Finally, guys. Finally. It's a little bit bigger bait than when you usually put on a bed, but I think it's one of the cooler tweaks that I do. So the first thing that you're gonna do, and I've done showed you this before, you just take a Mega Daddy, this is a Gambler Mega Daddy, and you cut the tail off. Just like that, super simple. But here's where it gets a little different. So the Mega Daddy, when it goes through the water, it does a very gentle flapping. It's not like a burner crawl or like a kicker crawl or anything. It doesn't flap that much. But when you have a bait on a bed, you want like a bunch of appendages. So it's already got the flappers, it's got the antennae. So what I do is there's a little ridge on, on that, that paddle right there on that flapper. And I just take my scissors and I follow that ridge just a little ways down, just like that. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side, just like that. And if you miss it, whatever, I clipped off a little extra. So what this ends up doing is in the water, this separates because it's a little bit more plastic and it basically it causes it to, to kick just a little bit more but it also quivers more because you have more appendages and when it comes to, to bed fish you're really trying to like aggravate them and to me it seems like the more do nothing appendages that kind of just do a little twitch or a little quiver or something on them like that's what triggers them after a while the other cool part about this is you can swim this through the bed we kind of talked about that a little bit and these things will actually shake and they'll, they'll double kick along with the paddles. So it's a little rig that you can do. It makes it a little more compact when you cut it down and it's just perfect for pitching. It's a little bit more plastic so it's a little easier to pitch. But give this thing a try. I like doing it in Copperfield. It has a little bit of the white in it but it also has that watermelon. So it's natural but I can see it on the bed if I'm really sight fishing them and like looking to hit that juice spot on the bed.